One of Boston's oldest Italian festivals is returning for the first time since the pandemic started. The Fisherman's Feast kicks off later this week. And after COVID crashed last year's party, organizers are eager to resume the tradition. WBZ's Rachel Holt shows us how they're getting ready. A test run of the famous Flight of the Angel as preparations are underway for the Fisherman's Feast in the North End. The whole angel ceremony is back and uh, it's going to be, you know, two angels on the side and then one angel will be doing a flight and today we're going to be doing the test flight of the angel. It's, it's a bunch of fun. You get to be with friends and family. It's one of my favorite things to do in August. Last year the festival was virtual, but this year event organizers look forward to welcoming back people and traditions. So this is our 111th year. Um, it started it back in 1910 in, uh, with um, our ancestors from Sicily. We're more than excited. Uh, I think a lot of folks in the neighborhood are excited. People want to get back to, you know, having our feasts again. The Fisherman's Feast will be going on Thursday to Sunday, ending with the Flight of the Angel on North Street, an event that's been years in the making for this year's angels. If you get picked, then you get to be the side angel, and you have to work your way up to the flying angel. So you'll be side angel one, and then side angel two, and then the flying angel. And the side angel um, says a full speech in Italian just about the Madonna and um, telling people about her. A few words are silencio and viva. This year, it's 11-year-old Mia Graffio's turn to soar above the crowd. I can't wait to fly over the audience and bring some joy. That Sunday night, 8.30, you know, it's a beautiful ceremony to watch everybody. It's always amazing to see that we pull it off every year. For WBZ News, I'm Rachel Holt. I l absolutely love that this is a tradition that was brought over by Italian immigrants, and the flight of the angel is such a highlight. Right? And I'm so excited for Mia.